Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is John Hammond, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this case, I want to showcase some of the Google's Capture the Flag competition that happened just recently, uh, this past weekend. And to start off, I wanted to include a little shout-out to Live Overflow, who is another awesome YouTuber um, who has incredible content. He's in the same kind of cybersecurity, computer science, Capture the Flag, hacking uh, material that I'm into. Um, he does a lot of great videos, and we played together for a little bit of this Capture the Flag competition competition. Um, hopefully he'll be releasing another video pretty soon on some of the real, like, hardcore legitimate challenges, um, but I stuck with some of the noob and baby stuff in the beginner's quest. So uh, I want to showcase some of that content. Um, Google CTF is already complete. It finished up uh, last weekend, June 24th. Um, congrats to Plaid Parliament Opponent for totally taking first place there. I love those guys. Um, I've been to their uh, cyber stakes competitions when they've done that, and they do an incredible job with all their stuff. Um, so this game was live at g.co forward slash ctf, and if you want to, you can take a look at some of the write-ups and stuff that's already out, but I want to cover some of the beginner's quests, and I might showcase a little bit of one of the challenges that Live Overflow and I took a look at personally for uh, the legitimate challenges. This is some pretty hard stuff, because Google does not mess around. So if you go to this competition on the website, um, you can create a team, but you don't have to for the Beginner's Quest. So if you click on Beginner's Quest, it gives you this kind of storyline and prompt here, but it's pretty cheesy. Um, didn't actually uh, indicate too much of the actual challenges, but on the top you have this diagram moving you from beginning to end of some of the challenges. So let's start at the start as we should, and this, this challenge is called Letter. It's a miscellaneous category. The challenge prompt is, you really went dumpster diving. Amazing. After many hours success. Between it looks like a three-week-old casserole and a copy of Relative Time magazine, you found this important-looking letter about a victim's PC. However, the credentials aren't readable. Can you still obtain them? And we have an attachment to download, so let's go ahead and create a home for ourselves in here. Make a directory GCTF, um, and let's make a directory Letter. So we can just download this to perfect right in there save it so if we get into that directory we have this giant hash looking thing um, and that is a zip archive so let's move that file to letter.zip and then we can unzip it without a problem because it'll know that the file extension is there so that will extract a challenge.pdf file and that must be what we're working with here. Let's open that up and see what we've got. So this looks like pretty boilerplate letterhead, fake name, fake address, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dear customer, thanks for buying our super special autumn product. And the credentials for the web interface are blacked out. They're redacted. Um, for security reasons, we cannot change your password. Please store them safely. Whatever. So the way I approached this was I looked through some of the PDF tools that come in with Linux. If you type in PDF and double tap tab to autocomplete, you can see some of these things that are available. Um, PDF images will try and extract images out of it. Uh, PDF to HTML will convert it to HTML. PDF to text will convert it to uh, text. I tried PDF images and if you run that it'll ask for, it'll explain what the options are. It will take the PDF file and then the image route where you really want to put stuff. I tried to run that on challenge.pdf with like output as the directory, but I never ended up getting anything, anything with it. So I tried to run PDF to text on challenge.txt and that created, I'm sorry, on challenge.pdf and that created challenge.txt. So now we can cat that out and see what it's really uh, explains there. And this reads username dot 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 dot, but password CTF, I can read this. Cool, there's our flag. Um, interesting thing, if we do have that open in the PDF editor, if I had just highlighted this, it also will show the flag for us just like that. So not a hard challenge at all, totally a good beginner, uh, beginner quest starting challenge. And let's note that as the flag. Um, flag.text. And just for the heck of it, let's create a uh, little get flag script that will create this or copy this, do this for us um, all in one go. So I'll call that get flag.sh. That will have a shebang line, and we'll run curl on that link that we can copy for us. That'll get the file here. And let's save that, or dash O for the output file as letter.zip, and we'll redirect all of the uh, actual content here, or the standard error that it gives us to dev null. So we don't see that status update that it tries to give us while it's downloading it. 
we can unzip tack A, I think, is to overwrite that letter dot zip. And again, let's pump its standard error to dev null so we don't see it. And then let's run that PDF to text on challenge.pdf. That will create that challenge.txt for us. And we can cat that challenge.txt file. Let's grep for CTF and let's see if it will actually get the flag for us. Create that script. It'll download it all. Okay, looks like um, the output is there and it looks like it's not doing that for us. Maybe it didn't It didn't overwrite. Let's see if it's tack O, I think, that will overwrite. Tech, oh, overwrite existing files without prompting. Okay, that's fine in this case because it already exists. So let's do tech O. Let's run our get flag script. Okay, standard error goes to dev null. We can put standard output the same place. We probably can do that backwards. Let's take regular centered output, redirect it to dev null, and then take centered error and redirect it to the same place centered output is going. So both standard error and centered output will go to dev null in that case. PDF to text will grep PDF, run and get flag. It gets the password for us, but let's get just the flag out of that. So let's reverse the line and cut it with the delimiter of spaces, get the first field and reverse it back. So now, our get flag script will just get the very last column separated by spaces. I can read this, and there's our flag. Cool, that's pretty easy. We can mark that challenge as complete, and we can move on to the next one. Now that we've got this saved, submit that, and we're done. Cool, that first challenge is complete for us. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, again, special shout out to Live Overflow. He's awesome. You should totally check out his content. He has great stuff, and. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Hey, if you do love some of this material, if you like the video, please do that. Press the button, like the video. Um, and if you'd like to let me know what you think, what else you'd like to see, please leave a comment uh, if you're willing to subscribe. And if you, thanks so much, guys. See you soon.